I feel like what has been branded as Singaporean music in in my scene at least the uh, Chinese orchestra scene, right? It's a lot of multiculturalism blended into one. And there are many attempts to interweave cultures from like like the Malay culture, Indian culture, Chinese culture. I mean of course I think a lot of people know that or maybe not, maybe people don't know that Singapore is like a melting pot of different cultures, right? Mm, so, um, in the music that I've been exposed to, at least in the Chinese orchestra scene, um, things that are termed Singaporean music generally have this theme of interweaving of cultures, be it through like the musical motifs, the imagery, or just like the general message behind the piece. Nah, that would be termed as Singaporean music, I guess. Mm. But personally, yeah, what is Singaporean music? Honestly, I don't know, yeah. Will you be talking to me? Will you be talking to me? Okay. It's not like I need to host vlog like that, right? It's not like I have to host a vlog like that, right? No. Okay, I just... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, I don't know how to kill that, sorry, sorry. Maggie打包。OK，等我要，我要打。啊，豆腐。还有，哇，这个。Hey y'all. Thank you. 
chicken cutlet, fresh from the Cai Fan store. <laughs> Very good, okay. Crispy, crispy. Uh. I grew up in this neighborhood and I'm 25 years old this year, so yeah, I've been here. My earliest memories was actually, I think I was crying uh, because I was being sent to play group. So I was like being brought from that apartment. Okay, you cannot see that, uh, can you see the, the, the blue dust in there? Yeah, my earliest memory right, is of my mom holding my hand right, then walking me all the way to the end there. I don't know a lot of people say that, like, ayah, how come like, you're a musician and I was like going to study chemical engineering? I'm just like, why can not I like both, what? Huh? Yeah, as long as you like what you do. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter what you want to do. Yeah, because what you like naturally is what you enjoy. And if... I mean, that's the entire... That's the idea, entire idea of like challenging yourself, right? But I believe like if you like something and you enjoy it, you're naturally gonna try hard at it, and you're naturally gonna be more successful at it. So that's my belief. Good luck. My friend gave this to me, but it's broken, unfortunately. Oh. It's like some business of chrysanthemum a little, but not anymore since it's been stuck in this box for so long. <laughs> so. Actually, this this is like um in Chinese you call it huaying zhi tao, um how to translate it to English ah uh? is in sandal zhi tao is like it's like something of finger ring so it's like a uh uh sandal stick I have no idea <laughs> it's uh, yeah, just a ring lah oh, so you can do this like change the pitch of the of the instrument. <laughs> It has a very choppy noise, like a crisp and bright sound. Like, like, so we add rubber to sort of soften the sound. So, rubber, something like this. Something about Chinese music that I think a lot of people might not be familiar with in terms of like Singaporean schooling context is that I think a lot of people not they don't really um, treat Chinese orchestral music as like a very cool CC. Not a lot of street crap, if you know what I mean. <laughs> They'll be like, how oh, is CEO is like, isn't it like the funeral downstairs, the void deck? Now that's one up here very loud, then everybody think very noisy. No, so that, that was what the entire um, impression of Chinese music. That, that was the, the entire impression that Chinese music gave to people that did not understand and play with it. So in that aspect, I think it trained me to be a bit more like thick skin. Uh. Yeah. They asked me, why you play Chinese music? Not cool. And I'm like, oh, like, oh, you don't look like you play Chinese instruments because like, you don't look like very China. Quite. 
Why can not? I think that um I feel like on one hand, right, I have the tools to be like, you know, the dream of every Asian parent. I can study chemical engineering, right? Then it's like, Asian parents be like, oh my god, I still have a doctor, engineer, manager, right? Are you solid for life already? But then I'm like a musician. Then I, I am thinking of trying to pursue music full time in the future, and it totally goes against whatever um, society would expect of me. Especially because, like, I mean, um, chemical engineering is a very good backup, lah. But generally, people also expect that, like, okay, if you spend so much effort in like a degree, that is profitable, and it's gonna give you a good future in that sense. Then why are you not pursuing it, right? Yeah. So for me, I feel like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because it's like music in Singapore isn't very bankable. It doesn't make a lot of bread. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think so. Especially because like. I'm in the Chinese orchestra scene, right? So it's a bit more um, found upon because I mean, like, uh, basic beaches all around the world just like pop. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and things like um, Chinese orchestra music will just um, doesn't really fit into whatever the mass market might be done. So um, for me, I'm in a very, very niche space that not a lot of people will want to go towards and might not be able to generate as many returns as oh, the engineering me is coming up. I think Singapore has a lot of good infrastructure in terms of education, like at least for music-wise, lah. Because teachers always, have, I mean, musicians always have a backup in terms of like teaching gigs in schools or like teaching private students. Because everybody here at Kansu, right? They want their kids to like learn everything so that they can go. I don't know direct school admission and generally like go interviews. You have like, another skill to learn. People uh, another skill to showcase. People will just be like, oh, okay. Yeah, you seem like different from the rest, and of course, learning new skills also teach you different life skills also lah. So, um, generally, um, Singapore musicians, Singaporean musicians have that to like bank on. But I think in terms of like creating something new, like be- being creative, expressing what they want, right, want to do, I think it's a bit um, backward in that sense.